Hello, it's Hannah again from Cheese Media. Today we're going to talk about audience impact, representation, legal and ethical issues and regulatory bodies in terms of Fantastic Four. First, I'm going to talk about audience impact. There are two theories. Hypodermic syringe is the theory from Theodore Adore. This theory is that the media has a negative impact and the mass audience will believe anything they see and cannot filter it out. And this is when an audience is passive because they have no choice to filter out the information the media gives them. The second theory is that the audience can filter out the media and adapt from it. This links to Gauntlet's theory that an audience is able to use the media for their own purposes. This is known as an active audience. This is how the two theories tie into Fantastic Four. The character, the Human Torch, can be seen as cool and impressive because uh, he has it all. For young children, they may feel that they should try to be like him. This could have a negative impact. The character of Mr. Fantastic is a role model because he protects and saves the city and encourages children to be kind and help others. For girls watching the movie and seeing Jessica Alba in her underwear then getting her dream man, girls may think that they need to show more of their body to get attention from boys. Now onto representation. Superheroes, women and men are being represented in the film. The character of the invisible woman is a stereotype because she has blonde hair, a big chest and wears tight fitting clothes. She is seen as the ideal partner. This stereotype fits with Mulvey's theory that women are objectified in the media. The other, the other stereotype is the representation of men. Elpen Katz said equation of masculinity with pathological control and violence. This refers to the human torch because he, is, he constantly wants power. Mr. Fantastic falls into Perkins' theory that not all stereotypes are negative. This is because Mr. Fantastic is a superhero and saves the city. Hall said that all representations are mediated, so the so the characters have changed to appeal to the audience and make them feel a certain way. Next, I'm going to talk about legal and ethical issues. For the soundtrack of Fantastic Four, 20th Century Fox wouldn't have wanted any copyright issues, so they would have got, would have got approval from the record companies and producers to use their content. Some examples of the songs are Everything Burns by Ben Moody and Goodbye to You by Justin Rimmer and Brent Erickson. There is no explicit language or adult theme, so there is nothing that the un an audience could get offended of about. There are no racial issues raised in the film. One thing that could possibly offend someone is that all the main characters are white. In the new Fantastic Four film that has come out, they have made, made the characters more diverse. Finally, regulatory bodies. The movie Fantastic Four is PG. This is set by the BBFC. The rating means that the film should not upset anyone who is A or older, and the content is not too explicit or disturbing but it does contain violent themes. ASA have made guidelines for advertising so that adverts are not offensive, so posters of Fantastic Four could not show violent or sexual images. The main poster of the characters are showing their superpowers. This has no offensive images on it, and that's why it was used. Till next time, bye!